What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's having a great day. Happy Fact Sheet Friday and indeed the last Fact Sheet Friday right before the release of Farming Simulator 19. The hype train is real guys. Get on, get your tickets. We on our way baby. Yeah, yeah we arrive on Tuesday. Oh, get hype, get lit, whatever you get. Get that way right now because it's about to go down. Oh yeah baby, oh yeah. So, for Farming Simulator 19, on their Twitter page, they said, That's it, guys. This is the last fact of 2018. We hope you will enjoy our new game. And we promise, fact sheets will be back in the future. So exciting. So awesome. Get lit. Get hyped, fam. It's true. Oh, yeah. So, what I see in this is that fact sheets will be back. However... We will not be getting any DLC information or anything like that in 2018 because they've said this will be the last fact sheet Friday of 2018, which means probably in 2019. Get ready. Look forward to it because we will more than likely be getting some more fact sheets in for possible future DLCs, which is awesome. Get lit, fam. Get lit, fam. Get excited. I'm so hyped. It's Fact Sheet Friday. Let's jump right into it. Up first, we have the Case Axial Flow 9240, not the 9230 <laughs> that we had at Farming Simulator 17. This is the 9240. I'll go over a couple differences with you so you can kind of figure out what has changed. Well, this one costs you 420000 for the base model. Well, the 9230 costs $377,000 for the base model. This one has 634 horsepower. The other one had 571. This one holds 1,200 liters of fuel. The other one held 1,000. This one will go 24 miles per hour or 40 kilometers per hour. The other one only went 16. Oh, it was so slow. Uh, this one will hold 14,400 liters of stuff, which is 100 liters short of that new Holland CR1090, which is very exciting. And the old Axle Flow 9230 would only hold 12,330. That's a big upgrade right there. 9240, you are my new favorite. You are my new favorite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can change wheel brand and wheel setup. And it says standard or wide tires. However, we seek crawler tracks here. So I wonder, are crawler tracks standard? Or did they just completely forget to put that down? It could be either one, so stay tuned for that. We will be answering that question on Tuesday. Do not worry. Do not worry whatsoever. And we can also harvest wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soybeans, corn, all the good stuff. And then we have the Case 3162 Terraflex Draper 45 foot. This is exactly the same header that was in Farming Simulator 17 with the exception of one huge detail, the price, nine or $89,000. In Farming Simulator 17, it was $62,000. Hey, Giants, <laughs> you're expensive. <laughs> I can't take you out to dinner anymore. You're too expensive. <laughs> it's 13.7 meters or 45 feet working width. And your working speed is 10 kilometers per hour or 6 miles per hour. And of course, it'll do wheat, barley, oats, canola, and soybeans. Very cool. Up next, we have the Case Magnum series and the Kinsey grain cart. This Magnum is going to cost you $321,000 for the base model, which is kind of nice because <laughs> that's way cheaper than what was in Farming Simulator 17, which was $332,000. So... You are saving 11 grand right off the bat. That's awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You can either go 320, or yeah, 409 horsepower to 435 horsepower, which is exactly the same as Farming Simulator 17. Holds 617 liters of fuel. The one in, in, in 17 held 678 liters of fuel. This will go 50 kilometers per hour or 31 miles per hour. Nothing has changed there. And we can change engine setup and the wheel setup, which we knew the engine setup already. And we can go standards, wheel weights, wide tires, wide tires plus wheel weights, which is I think they call broad tires. 
You go narrow twins. You go twins, rear twins, or crawler track. The only thing that is different there is the wide tires with wheel weights. Before, we had standard wheel weights, wide tires, narrow twins, rear twins, twins, and crawler track. So, you know how it is. So, we also have the Kinsey Green Cart, which is brand new to Farming Simulator 19. This is the Kinsey 1051 Green Cart, or 1051 Green Cart. It is in auger wagons. Beautiful, by the way. $74,000 is going to get this for you. Requires 177 kilowatts power or 240 horsepower, which is not bad. You can use this with a smaller track. When I say smaller, you know what I mean. Anything under three. Hey, shut up. <laughs> 37,000 liter capacity, which is huge for something in this price range. You can change wheel brand or wheel setup, and we can go with standard, wide tires, or crawler track, which is amazing. I'm so glad that we can make that the differentiation between all of those. Very excited. And this is going to be able to hold wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflowers, soybeans, corn. It will also hold seeds and fertilizer as well. So get hype for that. And last but certainly not least, the very last fact sheet before the release. We have the Challenger MT700 series, which has gotten a bit of an upgrade since Farming Simulator 17. We'll go over the differences right now. This is going to be the tractor category. Duh. $387,000 is going to get you the base model, which is way higher than the $314,000 price for Farming Simulator 17. Well, what do you get for that price? Well, we have engine setups between 380 horsepower and 431 horsepower. In Farming Simulator 17, we had 384, 411, and 438 horsepower engine options. Just to give you an example, that last one's going to cost you $27,000 extra. That was just in Farm Sim 17. Who knows what that extra cost is going to be here. It also holds 681 liters of fuel. The one in FS 17 held 659, so we've got a bump there. This us go 24 miles per hour or 40 kilometers per hour, which is exactly the same as Farming Simulator 17. And you can change your engine setup and wheel setup. And those wheel setups are going to be standard or three meter tracks, which if you had the horse aggravation pack, which was free in FS 17, you got access to both of those, which is awesome. And last, but certainly not least, we have the Amazon Celsius. <laughs> the Amazon Celsius. Uh, this is going to be a cultivator. $68,000 is going to be your cost for this one. Unfortunately, there is nothing like this in FS17. So this is brand new. It requires 400 horsepower. Jeez. So we can tell that this uh, this Challenger is definitely not stock. 400 horsepower to power this. It has a working speed of 15 kilometers per hour or nine miles per hour. Is eight meter working width or 26 feet, whichever you prefer. Seems kind of on the high side for, for what this is, but I understand what they're doing. And it does seem the more and more I see the changes that have been made to Farming Simulator 19 and the upgrades from 17. They're going for more realistic and they're almost forcing you to use bigger machinery or, you know, saying like, hey, you can get this smaller machinery, but you can only do so much, which is exactly like it is in real life. And I'm very, very excited to see what Farming Simulator 19 has to bring. I've been watching as many gameplays and, and pre-release streams and everything that I can to get a good idea. But with that being said, there's still much that needs to be found out, learned, determined, all that good stuff. We're going to be doing that next week. Uh, I will be releasing a stream schedule and a video schedule probably later on in the weekend so that you guys can see exactly what's going to be going on and what to look for so there are no surprises next week and also we will be doing stuff on thanksgiving we will not be missing a day so if you guys don't celebrate thanksgiving uh on thursday next week 
which I believe is the 22nd of November, then if it's just a normal day for you, you will still enjoy videos. So, that being said, I hope you enjoy. If you did, please drop a like. If you know, please subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer them for you. With that being said, check out the new channel art. And we'll see you later. Peace!